God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Let the good news of all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let the sons of Israel say, His His love love endures endures forever. forever. Alleluia. The Lord has become my salvation. Alleluia. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name I crushed them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. I was punished, I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has has become become my salvation. salvation. Alleluia. The Lord has done this, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. 
we bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has done this, and, and it, it is, is wonderful, wonderful in our, our eyes. Alleluia. Christ Jesus, you have risen from the dead. Alleluia. Let the heavens and the earth rejoice. Alleluia. From the first letter of the Apostle Peter. You married women must obey your husbands, so that any of them who do not believe in the word of the gospel may be won over apart from preaching through their wives' conduct. They have only to observe the reverent purity of your way of life, the affectation of an elaborate hairdress, the wearing of golden jewelry, or the donning of rich robes is not for you. Your adornment is rather the hidden character of the heart, expressed in the unfading beauty of a calm and gentle disposition. This is precious in God's eyes. The holy women of past ages used to adorn themselves in this way reliant on God and obedient to their husbands. For example, Sarah, who was subject to Abraham and called him her master. You are her children when you do what is right and let no fears alarm you. You husbands, too, must show consideration for those who share your lives. Treat women with respect as the weaker sex, heirs just as much as you to the gracious gift of life. If you do so, nothing will keep your prayers from being answered. In summary, then, all of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving toward one another, kindly disposed, and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. He who cares for life and wants to see prosperous days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from uttering deceit. He must turn from evil and do good Seek peace and follow after it, because the Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. But against evildoers the Lord sets his face. Who indeed can harm you if you are committed deeply to doing what is right, even if you should have to suffer for justice' sake? Happy will you be. Fear not, and do not stand in awe of what this people fears. Venerate the Lord, that is, Christ, in your hearts. Should anyone ask you the reason for this hope of yours, be ever ready to reply, but speak gently and respectfully. Keep your conscience clear, so that whenever you are defamed, those who libel your way of life in Christ may be shamed. If it should be God's will that you suffer, it is better to do so for good deeds than for evil ones. Blessed are you when men hate you and curse your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Be glad on that day and dance for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. If you suffer for the sake of justice, you should count yourself blessed indeed. Alleluia. Be glad on that day and dance for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia.
from the Jerusalem Catechesis, you were led down to the font of holy baptism, just as Christ was taken down from the cross and placed in the tomb which is before your eyes. Each of you was asked, do you believe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? You made the profession of faith that brings salvation. You were plunged into the water and three times you rose again. This symbolized the three days Christ spent in the tomb. As our Savior spent three days and three nights in the depths of the earth, so your first rising from the water represented the first day, and your first immersion represented the first night. At night a man cannot see, but in the day he walks in the light. So when you were immersed in the water, it was like night for you, and you could not see. But when you rose again, it was like coming into broad daylight. In the same instant, you died and were born again. The saving water was both your tomb and your mother. Solomon's phrase in another context is very opposite here. He spoke of a time to give birth and a time to die. For you, however, it was the reverse, a time to die and a time to be born, although in fact both events took place at the same time and your birth was simultaneous with your death. This is something amazing and unheard of. It was not we who actually died, were buried, and rose again. We only did these things symbolically, but we have been saved in actual fact. It is Christ who was crucified, who was buried and who rose again, and all this has been attributed to us. We share in his suffering symbolically and gain salvation in reality. What boundless love for men. Christ's undefiled hands were pierced by the nails. He suffered the pain. I experienced no pain, no anguish, but by the share that I have in his sufferings, he freely grants me salvation. Let no one imagine that baptism consists only in the forgiveness of sins and in the grace of adoption. Our baptism is not like the baptism of John, which conferred only the forgiveness of sins. We know perfectly well that baptism, besides washing away our sins and bringing us the gift of the Holy Spirit, is a symbol of the sufferings of Christ. This is why Paul exclaims, Do you not know that when we were baptized into Christ Jesus, we were, by that very action, sharing in his death? By baptism, we went with him into the tomb. These newborn lambs sing Alleluia as their song of praise. They have come to the streams of living water. Now they are filled with radiant beauty. Alleluia. Clothed in white robes and with palms in their hands, they stand in the presence of the Lamb. Now they are filled with radiant beauty. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we acclaim you. You, you are, are the eternal, eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. 
Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Father, you gather the nations to praise your name. May all who are reborn in baptism be one in faith and love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.